Tomorrow, the city will celebrate the life of former Jacksonville Mayor Jake Godbold. A huge crowd is expected to attend a memorial in his honor at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. As mayor, Godbold was never shy about his ambition of putting the city on the map, overseeing the development boom now known as the Billion Dollar Decade. He is best remembered, though, as the visionary who dared to dream of Jacksonville becoming an NFL city, a dream that even caught the attention of the White House. My last formal interview with the former mayor was in January a year ago for our coverage of the implosion of the old city hall, where he served as both the city councilman and two terms as mayor. We sat together in his living room and reminisced about his years in the city hall on Bay Street that spanned parts of three decades. I asked Godbold to share his memory of the historic event in 1979 that came to be known as Colt Fever. It turned out to be very, very important in Jacksonville and very excited. At the time we were making it happen, uh, I had mixed emotions about whether we ought to do that. Those mixed emotions gave way to awe-inspired wonder at the huge crowd that turned out to watch the mayor and Baltimore Colts owner Robert Ursay land in the Gator Bowl in the Channel 4 helicopter. The crowd wanted Ursay to know he should go ahead and move his NFL team here to Jacksonville. I remember, Tom, that I went out, I went to uh, the uh, White House about three or four days after this happened. And uh, they came in and I was gonna talk to them about the people mover project and everything. And they said, no, no, before we talk to you about anything, we wanna know how in the hell you got 50,000, over 50,000 people, another 20,000 people outside to come down and say, we want the coach, you know? Mayor Godbold's celebration of life begins tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock at the convention center. It is free. No tickets are required. Doors open at 8.30 in the morning. Seating is first come, first served. I will have the privilege of being the master of ceremonies for the event. Everyone is invited to attend, or you can watch it live right here on Channel 4.